attachments of the cranial nerve along the base of the brain first is olfactory nerve as you know olfactory nerves are 15 to 20 in number and they will commence at root of the nose from the olfactory mucosa they will traverse through this cribriform plate of ethmoid and they end up into this olfactory bulbs okay so this olfactory bulbs these are the olfactory bulbs they are related to this cribriform plate of ethmoid so here lies the olfactory bulbs and the olfactory nerves will end up into these bulbs second is optic nerve this is optic nerve as you know it emerges out from optic canals so these two are optic canals and these two will end up into the optic chiasma so here is the optic chiasma that you know third is oculomotor oculomotor will emerge out from medial border of this basis pedunculi there is a sulcus deep inside and somewhere over here will be the oculomotor now emerging out fourth is trochlear this is the only cranial now emerging out from dorsal aspect now both the trochlear nerves will wind around this basis pedunculi and this third and fourth cranial now you know they will traverse through this cavernous sinus and they will then pass through superior orbital fissure to enter into the orbit next is fifth trigeminal now it will emerge out at its junction between pons and middle cerebellar peduncle see over here this is a small stump seen this is the trigeminal now it is having two roots medial motor and lateral uh, sensory the sensory is larger as compared to the motor and this trigeminal now as you know it divides into ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular now so the ophthalmic and maxillary will traverse through cavernous sinus and ophthalmic will pass through the superior orbital fissure by dividing into frontal nasociliary and lacrimal whereas the maxillary will pass through this foramen rotundum and mandibular division will pass through this foramen oval six cranial now ablucent it will emerge out at pontomedullary junction between pons and pyramid over here again along with third and fourth cranial now it will pass through cavernous sinus and it will leave the cranial cavity by passing through superior orbital fissure to enter into the orbit lateral to the abducent in relation to the olive at its junction with pons over here at pontomedullary junction between pons and olive here there emerges seventh cranial now facial again it is having two divisions motor and sensory the motor is medial and sensory is lateral it is not seen over here but you can clearly make out uh, this is the lower border of pons and this is olive so somewhere over here the facial now will emerge out and the motor division is larger as compared to the smaller lateral sensory division which is termed as nervous intermedius and lateral to that at its junction between inferior cerebellar peduncle and pons over here you can see vestibular cochlear now now it is preserved over here so you can make out this is the stump of vestibular cochlear now again it is having two roots medial vestibular and lateral cochlear along with the facial now its motor and sensory root these nerves will leave the cranial cavity by passing through this internal acoustic meter so here will be seventh and eighth cranial now next is glossopharyngeal so three cranial nerves 9 10th and 11th will emerge out at the posterolateral sulcus between olive and inferior cerebellar peduncle over here from above downward 9th 10th and 11th particularly cranial root of accessory now will emerge out and these three together will leave the cranial cavity by passing through this jugular foramen okay this is jugular foramen so it will allow passage of 9th 10th and 11th cranial now and last is hypoglossal 12th cranial now will emerge out at anteromedial sulcus between olive and pyramid by three to four small rootlets and as you know it leaves the cranial cavity by passing through hypoglossal canal so this is how all these cranial nerves will attach and will emerge out from base of the brain